bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to a video on looking after your team and winning more matches as a result. So an all too familiar um, experience within Dota is that you can have a very good lane, for example mid, your mid may be going very well, or even like a safe lane or off lane, and yet you still completely, when you group up with your team, totally get slaughtered and killed, and it's a little bit confusing as to why. And then usually, after that point, the sort of flames start coming, oh, well played mid who totally failed, or well played safe lane who totally failed, or blah, 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 blah. And I think one of the biggest problems that we have in Dota, particularly in the lower school brackets, is you get tunnel vision. Um, and this is, you just pay attention literally to like, oh, need to get my last hits, and oh, I need to make sure I don't get killed in my lane, and oh, that's it. And we don't actually really pay attention to what's going on with the rest of the team. I mean, some people do, in which case that's great, but, but a lot don't. Or it's very, very easy to go into tunnel vision mode. And so the reality is you can have a great game, a great lane even, and still completely lose the game because the rest of your team is really falling behind. Now there's a mixture of two different things going on. It's sort of Dota, there's sort of like a tier of, of attention to be paid, things to be paying attention to. Obviously map awareness being a big one. But paying attention A to your own lane, then of course to the mid lane, then finally to all lanes, um, are all quite important skills. And so by, as it were, looking after your team and looking out for your team, it can make a quite a drastic impact on whether or not you lose. So the first question you've got to ask yourself is, is your lane going well? Yes or no, I suppose would be a good way of putting it. The key thing is it's not going badly. So are you being ganked and killed all the time? If you are, then you've got to ask yourself who's dying and who's not dying. So in, in particular, let's, let's, let's take safe lane as an example. Let's say you're playing core and you've got another person playing support. Now your support is doing actually quite a good job of being the sacrificial lamb that dies to make sure that you don't die. Now, while you're having a tough lane, obviously in those kind of environments, you're probably struggling to get last hits. At the same time, you as a core are not chain feeding. And this is kind of the big thing. It's like if supports are dying a couple of times, then it's not really actually that bad. But equally, of course, if you're both feeding and getting tramp, uh, trashed, then you've got to ask yourself why, what's happening. And there are one of two things. Either who you're playing against is just really good and kicking you in, in which case there's there's ways to deal with that. Or you're getting regular rotations, say for example, a Pudge or another roaming support has decided to visit your lane and make life very difficult for you. Now, while this is obviously problematic, you then have to take into account what's going on mid and off lane, for example. Now, let's say as a result, because they are there in your lane, off lane is having a whale of a time, doing well actually, winning their lane, and so is mid. Then actually that loss, as it were, isn't, or that disadvantage, as it were, isn't quite as bad as you might think, particularly if you as a core aren't feeding. And if your support can avoid that too, that's even better. So it might be a tough lane, but if you're not chain feeding and the other two lanes are going well, then actually your overall odds of winning the game are, are still pretty high. Let's flip that on its head. Let's say, for example, you're actually in your safe lane, um, things are going well. In fact, they're going really well. You've actually secured a kill on the offlaner and um, the core is getting plenty of farm. However, mid is having a nightmare. Mid is being crushed and it's horrific. Now, typically, a lot of low skill players particularly will think, oh great, well, we're having a great time here, so we'll just kind of ignore what's going on. Well, actually, if you're having a really, really good time, and yes, it would be nice to secure another kill, but let's face facts, not actually that critical then a rotation for the supports is definitely key for whichever lane is struggling. And that's kind of the thing that you've got to look out for is ask yourself in the game, which lane is struggling and which lane is winning. And depending on which, which, which lane is doing that will then affect how you rotate your heroes. And this is like, like a key, key thing. And again, this requires, of course, paying attention to the map, looking after your own team, thinking about what the enemy is doing. But actually, this this if you can get this right, honestly, the, the game balance is, is massively changed. So if your lane is going either average or well, but you're aware that the other lanes are struggling and you pay attention, you look at your little heroes, see who's been dying, who's not been dying, then you can make a rotation quite comfortably and quite quickly. And the other thing as well is, and, and to be honest, the one I'm actually most concerned about looking out for, funnily enough, isn't so much the mid, although that is important, it's actually the offlaners, and here's why. If the offlaner is chain feeding, 
Um, which may be no fault of his own. It's like, well, this, we've got aggressive try line here. This is going really badly. Now, the offlaner should be just hogging the tower and staying behind and then maybe occasionally get experience. But nonetheless, if you notice, like, well, our offlaner's died three times now in five minutes. This is seriously, seriously not good. Um, making sure that that stops immediately, either by forcing the offlaner to the jungle or hug the tower or whatever, or by simply rot sending a rotation to help him out, is actually going to make a big difference because what that's going to mean is the core, their enemy core, and let's say it's a really good core, let's say it's a Spectre or something, or some other hero that has ridiculous late game potential, is going to get very, very fat very, very quickly. They're going to get their items, core items quickly, they're going to come online quickly, and they're going to kill you far faster. Now, like I say, a good offlaner will just, you know, whatever, but, but will keep themselves out of harm's way and stop chain feeding. But nonetheless, if that is happening, immediately, even if your lane's like not going particularly great, but you're not losing badly, rotating your supports out of there, and maybe even your mid to help out your offlaner so that they don't continue to chain feed is going to be critical. But nonetheless, a good sort of rule of thumb is to check every few minutes or so how many, who's dying on your team and, and, and where, which lane they're in and that they're dying. Uh, communicating with your team is another another big one and of course good old-fashioned map awareness and of course you can click on your friendly allies and see how much gold they got and what items they've got now the thing is this might sound like oh my gosh no, I need to pay attention to my own game but literally it only takes a few seconds to do this and then you can instantly get an idea of what is going on with your team and then you can respond accordingly now, like I say, you may not be playing, uh, you might be playing core, in which case your rotations aren't as important, but you can still send your supports to deal and help out the other lanes. But if you can pay attention to the other lanes, pay attention to your teammates and their farm, who's dying and who's not, and then redistribute your supports or whichever heroes to help reinforce those lanes, it generally means overall you have a much stronger laning phase for your whole team. And a stronger laning phase for the whole team sets you up then for victory. So I think those are those, those are the kind of the main things there. But I, I just want to make sure recap on several kind of key key rules. One, pay attention to each of the lanes of your allies and how well they're going. Two, every few minutes check who's dying and who's not. And then three, be very very willing to rotate quite quickly depending on which lane is struggling and which lane isn't. And like I say, that all important rotation can be the difference between an off lane of feeding and then reinforcing a core, and then an off lane of securing a kill on the enemy core and then knocking them back for several minutes before they come online, which is the difference between winning and losing the game. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like, subscribe and share, and please comment below and tell me what you think. Goodbye.